A lot of big news regarding the pandemic. Starting today here in Detroit, all essential workers in the city are now eligible to be tested for coronavirus. You can do this without a doctor's note and you don't have to have any symptoms. Testing will be done by appointment at the state fairgrounds. Also today, Governor Whitmer is expected to outline her plans for reopening the state in phases, and that is scheduled for 3 o'clock this afternoon, so you can watch that here live on Local 4 and on ClickOnDetroit.com. Meanwhile, at the same time, state House Republicans are releasing what they are calling a roadmap for Michigan's recovery from the pandemic. And for more on that, let's get to Rod Maloney joining us live this noon with what the Republicans are proposing. Rod, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Rhonda. You know, the Senate and the House both have plans. They're not identical, uh, but they have put out plans. The Senate did last week and the House was out with theirs this morning. And uh, it does a number of things, you know, but it does is that it has three differing tiers uh, and three differing steps. We'll talk about the tiers here at noontime because this can get very convoluted and we don't want to overload you with information. I know people are interested. Here are the risk levels. Tier one is the highest. Wayne, Oakland and Macomb County, of course, are the, the ones that fit into that category the most. And uh, what this does is uh, if, if in fact it were to be uh, adopted by the governor, it would remove the 50,000 square foot store limits that have caused so much of the consternation and the protest over the last week. Uh, then there's tier two, which is a heightened level of risk, but it reduces the large gathering limits. In other words, as they step down uh, with these, then they're, they're going to be changing the rules for some parts of the state. Then there's the T3, which is a standard risk where it lifts the stay at home order. And the legislature would like to get to that as soon as possible in many of the outstate areas. I had a chance to speak with the House Speaker this morning, and uh, this is what he had to say about his plan. Michigan is very diverse, and this COVID-19 pandemic has hit Michigan in different regions at different levels. So we believe that our strategy moving forward needs to identify that and include that in every step of the way. That's why we believe regionalization is so important. We need to ensure that Southeast Michigan gets the PPE that they need, gets the testing that they need, and the additional resources that they need. But let's not be overburdensome in other parts of the state where thousands of Michigan families are hurting unnecessarily. So we have the uh, Senate and the House plans posted on clickondetroit.com with the full details of all of this if you really want to spend the time and many people do have that time to go and take a look at that. In the meantime, the governor is going to be coming out at three o'clock with her plan, but uh, she has sort of signaled that it's not going to be the entire plan that she was expecting to roll out her plan uh, in pieces over the week. So we're going to be watching to see what she does at three o'clock and we'll have full details coming up on Local 4 News at five and again at six. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney, Local 4.